I have a bad feeling about this. Do not read the fanfic Gipper goes to Taco Bell. Up, 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 I know a whole bunch of you as we speak are like, I bet, and are gonna look it up right now. But for the love of everything holy, at least let me explain first what it is so you know what you're getting yourself into. If you still decide to look into it for whatever reason. Because that's exactly why I'm making this video, to educate and inform those who are unfamiliar with this landmark fic, to talk about what it is, why it exists, why it was so infamous, the impact it had. I am the road work ahead sign in this instance and if you're like yeah i sure hope it does and go into maximum overdrive then that's on you lately i've been seeing a lot of people wondering what this fanfic is what it's about on various social media platforms twitter tiktok my youtube comment section i don't know why let the past die kill it if you have to the gravity falls 10 year anniversary recently passed and the 10 year anniversary for the fanfic itself is coming up in august that could be the reason or maybe someone famous on TikTok or Instagram mention the fic, but I generally don't know which famous influencer would even know what this fic is. <laughs> right now, there's a pretty solid divide between the crowd of people who are in on the joke and were around when this fic became prevalent in the fandom psyche, and then there's another crowd of people who maybe weren't online at the time and are now none the wiser asking, what Dipper goes to Taco Bell? So this is a public service announcement to save your search history, fandom education, very important. Think of this like one of those videos that dissects awful horror movies and we're chilling. We're diving into history and lord knows how many people have war flashbacks just from hearing the phrase, it was a normal day in Gravity Falls, Oregon. Well, as normal as Gravity Falls gets anyways. Dipper Pines was reading his book and Mabel, his twin sister, was wondering what he was doing. And before you ask, no, I will not be reading the entirety of Dipper Goes to Taco Bell for your listening pleasure. Unless you pay me. A lot. Well, hang on. So, what is Dipper Goes to Taco Bell? Dipper Goes to Taco Bell is a Gravity Falls fanfic that was posted on fanfiction.net on August 23rd, 2012, roughly a month after the show itself premiered. But then, exactly a week later, on August 30th, 2012, it was removed from the website due to violating its policies on adult content. <laughs> Oh boy. Before I get into the premise and summarize the whole fic, I will say off the bat that Dipper Goes to Taco Bell is what you call a shock fic. It is literally meant to shock, horrify, and or disgust the reader. It was written like this on purpose. I guess you could even technically classify it as Dead Dub Do Not Eat in hindsight. For those who don't know, Dead Dub Do Not Eat is a category of fanfic which may contain disturbing or morally reprehensible content, and the author or fanfic tagger is warning you from the get-go, hey, there might be some intense stuff in here, know what you're getting into before you hit click. But honestly, Dipper Goes to Taco Bell is at its core a crack fic, as long as you put the words potentially scarring in front of it. Okay, no more delaying it. Dipper Goes to Taco Bell follows our titular character, Dipper Pines, as he goes to Taco Bell. It starts off with him turning down lunch with his grunkle Stan and twin sister Mabel at the local diner. Nothing out of the Gravity Falls wheelhouse so far. But then he is told that there's a mysterious Taco Bell in the middle of the woods, and even though he's initially pretty sus, he decides to go check it out because he's never been to a Taco Bell before. After searching for a while, he finds it. It's empty, save for a lone Taco Bell employee and he orders a single taco. This Taco Bell only sells tacos, no Gordita Supreme here. However, as soon as he takes a bite of his single succulent taco, he is suddenly afflicted with horrible diarrhea and runs to the bathroom. Where, okay, content warning from this point on. It gets really gory and really graphic and I'll gloss over what I can, but obligatory disclaimer. As he's fighting for his life in the bathroom stall, Dipper gets, excited by his various bodily fluids and starts off, getting even more fluids everywhere. But as he's going to town on himself hardcore and attempts to swallow the snake as it were, plot twist, he accidentally bites off a part of Little Dipper, Jesus Christ, and bleeds to death in the bathroom. You still with me? Just wait, it gets worse. His body is soon found by his twin sister Mabel in said bathroom at the Taco Bell, who, after seeing him on the floor covered and surrounded by blood and vomit and 
other bodily fluids and leavings, decides to do it with the corpse of her dead brother before plot twist again, she is found by the lone Taco Bell employee and is brutally murdered. The employee then takes some of her body parts as trophies before throwing her body and Dipper's body into a mysterious machine that turns them into tacos. And the story ends with Seuss, another Gravity Falls character, rolling up to the Taco Bell and ordering a taco. You know, funnily enough, I don't think this is the worst thing I ever read. Why? Why does this fic exist, you might be asking? Well, essentially just to troll people. That's the nature of these shock fics. They're meant to get a rise and a reaction out of you. And I mean, they succeed most of the time. I guess a good contemporary analogy would be likening Dipper Goes to Taco Bell with Nikaka avocado. Does that make it make sense? This is by no means the first troll or shock fic. There's a ton more out there, some of which I actually will cover later on. And even though that flavor of shock fic is less prevalent nowadays, most authors today will make it clear that the fic is meant to be a joke or a troll fic or dead dove do not eat, which is fantastic. Either way, a lot of shock fics have moved on from being super gory and graphic to more like trying to cringe the reader out. Like a lot of Wattpad fix will try to be as stereotypically cringy as possible just to get like a rise out of the comments. Really playing up the Mary Sue YN card, for instance. But gory and graphic shock and troll fix are still very much alive, even if they aren't the more prominent method of getting a reaction out of your readers. And Dipper Goes to Taco Bell is by no means an end to this era. I really hope this isn't making it sound like I'm defending Dipper Goes to Taco Bell. I'm just trying to put like a scholarly spin on this, but it's freaking Dipper Goes to Taco Bell. It's just a piece of fandom that has existed for a long time and I've just grown accustomed to it. I mean, you're not in the realm of fan fiction if you haven't been scarred by a fic at least once. Built character. But wait, we haven't gotten to the art and memes yet. So as you can imagine, the reaction to this fic was pretty visceral due to its disturbing content. The fanfic essentially gained infamy overnight and quickly became almost a challenge for people to try to make it all the way through or trick their unsuspecting friends into reading it. I think middle schoolers discovering the human centipede for the first time. Lots of fan-made pictures of Dipper outside of a Taco Bell, Dipper in a Taco Bell. Honestly, anything involving Dipper in tacos started popping up everywhere on Tumblr and DeviantArt, even outside of the Gravity Falls fandom bubble. Lots of meta art of Dipper discovering the fanfic and or reacting to it came about. Even a handful of cosplays referencing it. The quotes, aha, ha, 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 ha said Grunkle Stan, as well as HELP! I BIT MY DICK OFF! From this fic were thrown around as well. I really hope my neighbors didn't hear me just say HELP! I BIT MY DICK OFF! This fic actually reached creepy pasta, lost episode status, and became a copy pasta as well. Several dramatic readings of the fic were made on YouTube. There's a super popular YouTube poop that cashed in on the fic's notoriety. Someone even made a mashup of the Gravity Falls theme and the song Combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell that was released on August 30th, the day the fic was deleted. And it managed to reach 10,000 plays within a day and a half. This was on Tumblr in 2012, mind you. Alex Hirsch, the creator of Gravity Falls, acknowledged this fic's existence in this address to Tumblr. In the Gravity Falls episode Fight Fighters, Dipper gives his favorite video game character a taco. And there's also an Easter egg in the video game Pine's Quest, where in the game, a taco's item description states, Don't ask what it's made of. Safe to say, Alex at least knows what happened in the fic. Alex Hirsch, you brave, brave man. It's inspired several other shock fix with similar premises in other fandoms throughout the years. There was also a safer work version uploaded to fanfiction.net that is literally the exact same fic up until the point where Dipper goes to use the bathroom. In this version of the story, he simply uses the bathroom and then goes home. Those who simply weren't in the know or just didn't know what Gravity Falls was were suddenly confused as to why people were obsessed with joking about Dipper and Taco Bell, and oh, they were in for a treat when they eventually found out. I know I was. Good God, even looking at some of these pictures is enough to trigger my fight or flight response. Even though this fanfic was only officially active for a week before it was thrown into the taco machine, as it were, both its immediate and lingering impact on the Gravity Falls fandom and beyond is undeniable. It seems like Dipper Goes to Taco Bell has gone through almost a mini renaissance, with people still making memes about it, asking about it, even creating content for it. And judging by the recent dates of a lot of comments and how much it's still talked about, 
it stayed fairly relevant in the realm of cursed fanfiction. Out of all the stuff this story spawned, I think my favorite thing to come out of this vile, ridiculous fanfic is the fact that Taco Bell tried to cash in on fanfiction's rising popularity in the mainstream, which big brands attempting to milk fanfiction Really? You're going there? This is our little zone on the internet, and you're just gonna burst in through the wall like, Oh ha ha, yes, fan fiction, how relatable, buy our sh**. And like, okay, I'm really glad that people feel more comfortable talking about fan fiction. We can be more open about liking it. But corporations trying to cash in and put their dirty paws all over something born out of fan love? Fanfic is not the place where these big companies to try to make money. So yeah, after this Taco Bell tweet, people decided to start replying with the most horrific fanfiction they could find, just to show how unmarketable and non-advertiser friendly fanfic can really be. And the top fic that was spammed was Dipper Goes to Taco Bell. Something kind of good actually came out of this disgusting fanfic, who knew? And that was a brief history guide lecture on Dipper Goes to Taco Bell. You're welcome. Congratulations on making it this far. I hope you enjoyed me attempting to make this as palatable as possible while still making it entertaining and educational and not too weird. If you like this style of video, I have a lot more to come with other famous and infamous fanfics. So if you have suggestions, then leave them in the comments and I'll add them to the list. But yeah, thanks for watching. My air conditioning is still broken and I'm kind of dying, so I'll end it here. I appreciate you watching as always and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>